Hi there! In this quick tip, we'll show you how to export to PDF from Affinity Publisher. Before we get started, you might be looking for templates to use. You can get all these graphic templates for Affinity Publisher with Envato Elements. Envato Elements also gives you unlimited downloads of graphic assets, illustrations, and fonts. First, let's save a document suitable for the web. Open up your project, then go to File, Export. This will open the Export dialog window. By default, this is set to PNG. From the tabs, select the PDF icon. This will open the export options for PDF documents. When exporting to PDF for the web, we will want to consider file size in our choice. From the preset dropdown, select PDF Digital Small Size. The presets give us a good starting point. We chose digital to keep the file size low. This is always a good practice for delivering content on the web. Let's review the settings. The DPI is set to 72. This is one of the most common DPI settings for digital media. This will keep our file size nice and low. The Include Bleed option will include the margin areas in your document. For the purposes of web, typically we'll leave this unchecked. The Preview Export option will open up the PDF document once you've exported it. For area, by default, you will typically want the entire document to be included. When adjusting these settings, pay special attention to the estimated file size on the bottom left. If you're exporting PDF for the web, you probably have a good idea of what an acceptable file size is. For the most part, the raster DPI setting will have the most impact on this. When you're happy with your settings, go ahead and click the Export button on the bottom right. Now the Export File dialog window will open. Select a folder on your desktop, then click the Save button. And that's about it for saving a PDF for the web. Exporting for print is a similar process. With your chosen print project, go to File, Export. Now with the Export dialog window open, go ahead and click the PDF icon again. One of our major concerns will be quality. From the preset dropdown, select PDF for print. This preset will give us a good starting point for our print-ready PDF. Let's review the settings. The DPI is set to 300. This is a high DPI, which is usually the minimum you want when printing a document. Anything lower and the quality of your document may suffer. The Include Bleed option will include the margin areas in your document. As this export is intended for print, you may need this option selected. Projects which require bleeds would be books or newspapers. The next option is the Preview Export. This will open up the PDF when you export it. For the Area option and the purposes of print, you will most likely want to have the area unchecked. When adjusting these settings, you may want to pay attention to estimated file size on the bottom left. Don't worry too much when exporting for print. In fact, it's normal for print-ready documents to be rather large in file size. The high DPI will make sure of that. Once you're happy with settings, go ahead and click the export button on the bottom right. And then go ahead and then save your document. You have saved a PDF document from Affinity Publisher that's suitable for print. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.